I think everybody just kind of took a moment on social media to just empathize and try to feel what Key Glock is feeling to the best of our abilities as we know his cousin, Young Dolph, was gunned down in his hometown city of Memphis, Tennessee. Key Glock went in depth about how he's feeling right now following losing Dolph. He said, damn, bro, I'm lost. My heart is torn. My brain about to explode. It hurts when I breathe. Why you leave me so soon? I'll never be the same. You was my left-hand man, my brother, my cousin, my mentor, and my drink partner for the past two years. I've been taking loss after loss and still can't understand why. First, it was my pops. Then it was my auntie. Then my grandma. And now you. I know we can't question God, but God, why? There's nothing no one can do or say to bring you back. And that is just eats me up by the second. You was my Phil Jackson and I was your MJ. Remember I told you I got your back no matter what? I guarantee that. Words really can't explain how I truly feel right now. I'm sick to my stomach, bro. Peace ain't even working. All I see is darkness. Only God knows how much you meant to me. Hashtag long live Dolph the Plug's best friend. Dumb and dumber. The Memphis dudes, family not friends, it's paper route for life. Yeah, Glock doesn't do a crap ton of interviews. He doesn't talk a lot on social media. I got him one time to kind of open up to me about why he signed with Young Dolph. He told me this. What was it like signing to Dolph? Why Why do that? Because you were hot anyway. Like, why do? Why make the decision to sign with Young Dolph and Paper Route Empire? Like, really, like, that, that, that's my family. Like, that's my real blood. So everything we agree on, like, is verbal. So, like, when, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to understand. We got an understanding with everything we do, like as far as music and not even music, it's everything pure, just life pure. We got an understanding with each other. It's been a tough week for music fans all over. We've tried to kind of flip this platform to cater it to Young Dolph content because we know people are talking about Young Dolph. Dolph's on their mind. I want to leave you guys with some sort of an uplifting message. I saw this floating around online and I thought it would be dope to read to you guys. Young Dolph's former principal at Hamilton High School delivered a Facebook post following Adolph's passing. He said one day he got a message that Dolph was there to see him. As always, I welcomed him in. To the world, he was Young Dolph. To me, he was just Adolph. That day, Dolph sat in my office and he asked how I was doing. And even said, you moving up, ain't it, Mr. Bates? He then said, I'm blowing up too. Here's my first CD. I did flavors. I'm about to be big, Mr. Bates. Silly me, I wished him the best and suggested he get a job. What the hell was I thinking, right? He laughed and respectfully said, yes, sir. We then hugged, and as we were leaving, I said, oh, we ate off, son. Go in my bathroom and go get some cologne. Yes, his herbal cologne was loud, and he respectfully said, yes, sir, and laughed, saying, you still Mr. Bates. That was maybe 2009 or so. In about 2011 or so, he came back to Hamilton High School, but as Young Dolph, and rocked the pep rally as we prepared to play Melrose. He left the gym telling the kids at Hamilton, y'all got the coolest principal in the world, he's my guy. If I needed something for the school, he did it, if he could make it in town. This one hurts because I knew the respectful little boy in the pig that turned himself into a national icon I was so proud of him because he actually did what he said. He blew up. It's nothing like seeing your former students achieve their dream. Tears in my eyes rest well soon. I pray for the safety of the rest of my former students and peace of our city. Amen.